Hi everyone, I want to give a quick demonstration of a new feature in Field Genius for Android version 1.5 that we're getting ready to release. And this is the ability to import a DXF file from CAD as a background layer. To do that, you can go to Import, select your file type, in this case DXF, and then I can browse for the file I want. So I can either look on the device here if I've moved it here, or I actually have this file up in Google Drive. So I'm going to go to my drive into my imports folder I've set up and select the file I want to import. And I can import it in meters. That's the default for the project. If the file's in US Survey feet, I will do a conversion from feet to meters when it imports. But in this case, I'll leave it as meters. And I'm going to attach this file as a XREF, an external reference. So I've loaded the file. Now I can go straight into my map view and see the DXF file. So if I go to my external references data panel, I can see that I've got it turned on. To deselect it, I just unclick and select it as well. So I've attached the layer. So I can attach different layers to the air map I'm working with. I can also set that DXF as selectable or not selectable. In this case, I want to work, I want to work around, I just want to see what's behind it. I tap on the map, I'm selecting nothing. If I decide that I want to actually take one of these points and use it in my project, I'll turn the selectable tab on. I'll select the point I want and I'll add it to the project. I'm going to keep the same number. I could change it if I want and I can save it. You can see now that it's a little darker and a little more prominent. So uh, we've added that point to our points database. The other thing I could do is add a line. So in this case, I'm going to select the line. I'm going to say OK. And I've added that line to the lines database. So now you can see that I've got both the line and points that I've added to the points database. So when I selected that line, I selected the line, but also the vertices at the end of each point. So that's a quick demo on our new feature of how to add an external reference DXF file to Field Genius for Android. Thanks.